A United States official has called any plans to replace Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant in the middle of the war for political reasons as crazy. And this is as media reports claimed that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in fact considering to fire his Defense Minister Yoav Gallant and add new Hope Party leader Gideon Saar to create a wider unity cabinet in Israel. Now, according to the Times of Israel, a U.S. official told reporters that replacing Gallant in the middle of the war in Gaza and on the brink of a full-on war with Hezbollah on the northern front for Israel would be crazy. The U.S. official added that Gallant's experience in his current role was important and argued that the reasons behind his potential firing are political. A Channel 12 report citing unnamed political sources and that... They said that Netanyahu was interested in bringing Gideon Saar into the government without using him to replace Gallant. However, according to Can News, other options are also being discussed. Saar may be appointed as foreign minister, while the current top diplomat, Israel Katz, could then become the defense minister. When asked about the reports by Vion, Israeli government spokesperson David Menser declined to comment. Listen to this. First question here I can see is from uh, Jody Cohen at World is One News in India. Uh, what can you tell us about reports that Gidon Saar might be given a ministerial role? Uh, thank you for that question, uh, Jody. We won't be dealing with any of those uh, political type questions uh, during these briefings. No doubt things will become clear uh, later in the day uh, or, or after that, uh, but we don't deal with those sorts of political questions here during these briefings. But thank you for asking. Reports that Netanyahu was considering firing Gallant shook the political arena and also sent Israeli financial markets diving on Monday. Gallant, meanwhile, met U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hostein to discuss the rising tensions with Hezbollah. Gallant told the U.S. envoy that only military action against Hezbollah will enable the return of tens of thousands of evacuated Israelis to their homes. He added that the possibility of an agreement is running out of Hezbollah as Hezbollah continues to tie itself to Hamas and refuses to end the conflict. Now, we discussed more on this earlier. For more, we were joined by Adrian Calamil earlier in the day. He was joining us from New York. He's a fellow at the Arabian Peninsula Institute and a Middle Eastern scholar with a forthcoming book on Hezbollah. Here's what he had to say on the matter. Uh, thank you for having me, first of all. Uh, what th This story has really morphed over the day. First, they were talking about a direct replacement for Gallant. Uh, then it's shifted to him taking on different, uh, having people coming in and filling different roles. Um, I know people were pointing to political reasons, but if you look at elections aren't slotted till uh, the May-June uh, time frame in Israel. So I, I don't see it there. Uh, the Israeli military uh, war cabinet just met and added a fourth objective about uh, with the Gaza war. And it's to it's to make sure that the Israeli citizens that have been displaced are repatriated to the villages to the north. So it seems like the the messaging with the defense as Gallant and, and, and Netanyahu's aims and Israel's aims, they're kind of working in synergy. So I'm not really, I'm not really sure where this um, message is coming from. I have a, some of a cynical view uh, and it, it, original story, it's connected to hostages and really the next front of this war. And that is kind of figuring out what's going on with that Northern border.